current liability is 120. That gives us the 1.4. Again, what does that mean? Well, if we limit the assets down to just quick assets, very more liquid assets, then we can pay off the liabilities of 120,000, which are due within a year, one and 1.4 times, so a whole time over, plus 40% uh, of it more, again, over the top of paying it off an entire one time. And, and that's what that number needs. It's always going to be less than the current ratio because it's a more restrictive measure. And then we've got the working capital, which just means that that's going to be the current assets minus the current liabilities. So notice that the working capital is going to be a nice number to use within our company so we can see how much money we have or how much uh, current assets over current liabilities we have at any given point in time. However, it's not as useful when we're comparing to other companies that may have uh, different sizes than us. So ratios like this are going to be uh, helpful for us to compare to say like if we're a small hamburger business and we're comparing ourselves to McDonald's we can look at their current ratios and and do some type of ratio comparison whereas it's a lot more difficult wouldn't make sense for us to use numbers uh, such as the the working capital to compare because their numbers are out of proportion that's the idea of ratios that's the idea of ratios going to be included in many many different things whenever we're trying to measure something so the